Even all my ops know I'm hot, bitch, have you met me? Pop up on your Tinder, you swear right, cause I am sexy Look at the material, baby, Henny kid too fancy Expensive and, yeah, it's a bad bitch alert When I look up in the mirror, I'm like, hey girl, what's up? These bitches hate, yeah, so what must that them fake? Yeah, no fun, give them face and serve them hits That's how a boss bitch show up, look Fine girl, no pimples Make me shawty fine from my head to my ankles And I'm so divine, so they wanna call me angel Pretty cause I said so, I go just like my halo See me, I'm sexy Don't vex me See me, I'm sexy Don't stress me See me, I'm sexy Don't vex me I'm way too sexy to be stressed uh, I'm serving cunt, yeah All these other bitches giving all oh, they giving burnt, yeah Sugar on the roll is giving falling on the blunt, yeah Looking for the smoke, I can promise I'm the one Chosen one, yeah <laughs> Are you stupid? I'm a broke nigga <laughs> You can't approach me if you're both, nigga A PSA, if you tryna look brown sugar way All my bitches bad and they know it Let me hear you say uh, See me, I'm sexy Don't vex me See me, I'm sexy. Don't stress me. See me, I'm sexy. Don't vex me. I'm way too sexy to stress. See me, I'm sexy. Don't. Vex Hi guys. Um, you are listening to Radio Two Five Four, and this is Two Five Four Express. Um, I can't hear myself, which is like the only weird thing I don't like these days, because it's like I want to hear myself. Like I want to make sure like something is being, something's being heard, but um. We're doing this thing with like a triple, triple, triple threat. We're doing like, so we're live everywhere technically. So, okay, let me get this started. So we're going live on Hi and Jerry. Hello. So is it is b- is b- both going to be facing you? It's like double and Jerry. I guess so, yeah. I guess okay. So. Unless you want to flip your camera. Ooh. Should I? But I feel like they want to see you. I think I look better on your camera. Yeah. So, so what we're going to do is... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so um, we're doing a double live, and um, not a double live, but a very, very big live. We're doing live on YouTube, li- live on Facebook, live on Twitch, live on Twitter, live on Instagram, and live on TikTok. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are live with uh, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Hi. How are you? I'm I'm chilling. Long time no see. Long time no see, and guys, I've been welcomed with two shots. And it's not okay. It's not okay. What do you mean it's not okay? It's not okay. We are trying to find Keisha before reform. Saturday. No, no, no. We need to reform as Kenyans, please. No, come on. Someone over here, Mike Baki so Baki Koros Basi Koro says, "What's up?" Um, but yeah. Um, Hi, Mike. How are you? Jerry, where did you disappear to? I disappeared to America. Why? You Ooh. left us with this um, ruto economy. I'm a wagwan. Imagine I'm coming back. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm just coming back. Like, anyway. what do you mean? Like you, you, you're dropping out again. I'm not dropping out again. Jerry, no. it's only cool to drop out once. I'm not dropping out again. I'm you actually look nice credits. over here, though. See? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'm transferring credits. I'm not dropping out again. Usu. Huh? You say you? Yeah. Ati Usu, please. The fuck? It's called Usu. Nigga, like, who says that? Okay, so I, I feel like the the thing about Jerry is she misses home. I That's do like she just Jerry wants to be home. I do. Like first things home. first, you want to be home. I do. Like all your friends are here, all your family is here. So it's like I feel like this is where you want to be, right? Yeah, there's that. Like there's friends, family, then there's also like my career. I feel like it's it, it's it's more it holds more water here. Does that make any sense? I feel like there I'm just like a grain of sand. What do you mean? I f- may I always say that if you're a star it doesn't matter where you are. If you're a star in Timbuktu, you're a star. Like, if you they come to Lodua and they're looking for stars and you live there, they'll find you. I mean, yeah, that's true. But then it's like, I guess when I'm there, I'm mainly focusing on school. Wasn't that what the point of you going there was for? Exactly. But then at the same time... You were time, going there for an education. I was going for an education. But then it's like, time is just passing by. And I feel like in this industry, the, te- the turnover is so high. You can't just... That's true. Like, if you slack... 
and yeah. go away. Like people will forget about you. Exactly. See? Like I've even been thinking about like Kahush. Like will people come back? Like you know, like so. you know, you think so, but like it's. I'm sure there's a question in his mind as well. Like, can you go and come back? My thing is, I feel like if you're in it for the for the craft, mm-hmm. you're gonna create regardless, and you're gonna find your your crowd regardless, your fan base. Yeah. So I feel like. You can't rely on other people's opinions if you want to do art or anything creative because you're going to lose your your essence. That no. is very true. So I feel like you just have to focus on yourself and do what you do best. And for me, I think my thing is, I, I, I believe in divine timing. So I came home for, I decided to come home for like three months. Mm-hmm. and For summer? For the summer. For the know, summer. Are you a summer bunny? <laughs> a little bit, I guess. <laughs> I mean. Go you. Go you. <laughs> yeah, but like. I feel as if everything is working as it should because I bought a one-way ticket. Nah, you coming you home. definitely were coming home to stay. Yeah. Like on some one-way ticket shit. That's some. I'm coming home to stay. I bought a one-way like, ticket. Like, did you tell your parents? And t- what did you tell your parents? So I haven't told my mom yet. Is she <laughs> listening? I hope she. Li- There's too many people listening here. Listening. I can't she's tell. Listening. She's not okay. Listening. Um, but uh, I told my. Shout dad. out your mom though. Huh? Shout, Shout out your mom, mom though. Yeah. Yeah, I told my dad to get a one-way ticket instead of buying like. Uh, uh, like you were cost saving. You you you, you yeah, touched the like, kiku you in him. Saving. Like you were like you yeah, this yeah. is cheaper. Yeah, no, because <laughs> my dad got me a buddy pass. Okay. So with the buddy pass, it would be like half price. True. It's like three seventy five one way, mm. as opposed to paying like twenty five hundred for a return. So okay. Like, you know what? Save your money. Yeah. Get a one way ticket. Then I can go back. But in your mind, you were scheming. No, I wasn't scheming. That's you were. Genuinely, I wasn't scheming. Let me tell you the truth. Okay, can we talk about something? Yeah. How was the time that you were away? Genuinely, like, like, w- like you being away, what was that like? I think I needed to heal, and it was very essential. Like that time frame was very healing. Like I had to sit alone with my thoughts and heal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I think so. No deja vu. No, no deja noise. Vu, no. <laughs> no streets. Hey, no streets. <laughs> no streets. There's no streets in America. <laughs> no, no, no. I go to school, come back home. Like. That's okay, how many classes were you taking? Um, I was taking four classes a semester. Okay. Yeah, so I, I had two physical classes, which were back-to-back. Mm-hmm. And then I had one, no, two online classes. Okay. So, yeah. Did you get a chance to work? Or was that hard? My thing is... Because you know people be like, you're in America, you must be making money, you must be working. Like, was I it, wasn't wh- working. So how was that? The money I was getting was off my scholarship. Like, they're okay. of what I had for my scholarship. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. I wasn't working. I applied to jobs, mm-hmm. but none of them accepted me. Okay. I was like, maybe, maybe it's a sign. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a, <laughs> maybe it's a sign. sign. Let me go back home. <laughs> you uh-huh. know? Yeah, because my, my CV is so all over the place. In high school, I was a server. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a nanny. Okay. Then I came back here. I was an artist. I was a radio presenter. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Look at my CV. You're like, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, why are you so all over the place? And like, let me ask you something. Like, in America right now, mm-hmm. What are people worried about? Like, you know how here we're all about the economy. Like, in America, what are people worried about right now? Me too. Like, you you step out the door, the wind hits you, you spent a hundred dollars. Like, <laughs> wait, a hundred. You know, a hundred. A hundred. How? I wish I had a fucking answer. I have no clue. Can okay, I can curse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I remember the <laughs> the <laughs> last year. No, she's gone. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, how is she, by the way? She wants a job back, but she's oh, gone. I'm so sorry. Oops. <laughs> I hope she's not listening. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> tricky. Um, but yeah. Um, but I want to bring future, so I feel like she'd be she'd be very happy to see future. You want to bring future? Yeah. What do you think people would want to see future or Lil Wayne? Um, That's the hard part, actually. I feel like it depends on who you're trying to target. I feel like Lil Wayne people would spend money because they're older. I think so future too. Future people would be. I mean, they'd spend. Some I feel like money. both would have an audience. I just don't know yeah. who would be the better person to bring. It depends on how much money you're trying to put down. Now, really, I want Drake, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, please <get> <laughs> really, I want Drake. <laughs> but anyway, but um, I guess like I'm curious as to I'm living in Kenya right now, so I have no idea what like life in America is. But like expensive. you're talking about like leaving the house and it's a hundred dollars. That sounds insane. Like so, like a restaurant, a date, anything is like yeah, yeah, it's expensive. Luckily for the dates, um, no, at this point in my life, I'm like I'm not paying for any dates unless like I'm. Okay, I'll pay for my boyfriend. That one I'll pay. Uh-huh. But then I'm not gonna go out of my way. Like, if, if, I'm not. Do, I'm not going Dutch. Sorry. Okay. No. Really? No. Even on like a first date. Who like, asked who? I'm not the one that asked. I know myself. I'm not gonna do that shit. For real. I don't need a man. Mm. So I'm not gonna. I if you, okay. if you, you know. So I'm not gonna go Dutch. 
if I've asked on a date, if I ask, sure, or I'll pay for the thing. But so I feel like one of the sure. most amazing things about um, Jerry leaving was people missed you or noticed that you left. Who? Like people. Who are people? Like your fans. Oh, guys, that's so sweet. So like there was like a lot of like where's and Jerry like people were like and it's like I guess. And I know you're smart enough to notice this, but like I guess was that for you something that made you think like maybe I should be doing this or did you, like what did that make you? Because I, I I felt it, so I'm sure you felt it. My thing is, I feel like I was so off socials, even though I was reposting and stuff, I wasn't paying attention to socials. So I was really focused on myself and my healing. Okay. My healing was my my main thing. So it was me trying to recalibrate and find myself again because I feel like the past two years was so chaotic. So I just decided to take a chill pill, you know, and relax, learn to journal a bit, even though it's... You journal? No, I don't. Ah. I journaled one day. Okay. But it helped a lot. Okay. I write songs. That's my journal. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, um, that helped. And did you write during this time that you were to yourself? I did... But then I feel like when I'm in a place, when I'm wounded, I guess, mm-hmm. I don't write really well. So but that's the time you're supposed to be like the most like heartbreaking. You know, like when you're hurt is when you like actually write the best according to like, I don't I guess, know, everything I else. Vulnerability. I'm, I'm good at being open, but mm-hmm. I'm not vulnerable. I'm not good at being vulnerable sometimes. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. I feel like I saw a TikTok. Oh my god, I'm so <laughs> sick of people quoting TikToks as if it's but like it scientific no, it knowledge or some though. shit. She quoted a book though. Nigga, please. It's still valid. Okay, okay. I'm listening. I'm so listening. She said that being vulnerable is different from being open. When you're open, you've already come to terms with whatever you're like, with, okay, with, with what you are going through. Mm. When you're being vulnerable, it's you being in the moment and feeling everything. Mm-hmm. Does that make any sense? Okay. Yeah, so I'm not the best at being vulnerable. I'm mm-hmm. good at being open. Like okay. Once I've taken time to process my feelings, I can speak well enough. I can I can process everything accurately. Okay. Yeah. So as you're in school, away mm-hmm. from home, mm-hmm. th- what's the only thing you're thinking about this whole time? Besi- and as you're healing, like as you're thinking mm-hmm. about life, thinking about like wh- what's the, I guess what's the recurring thought that keeps reoccurring for you like are you thinking damn i want to go back home and make music damn i miss this person yeah. i guess what is it what happens out of all of this like what do you gain out of all of this does that make sense what i gain out of all of it oh that's a good question it's a tough question i feel as if because you're you've already decided like yeah. by the time you're telling us these decisions you've made even your mom's gonna hear about this some other day she'll be like oh you decided like you've already decided f- and it's okay and we love that but yeah. it's like I guess where how do you get to this point? Um I guess I kind of finalized on it when I came home that you're talking about staying, right? Mm. Yeah. So I thought about the other day. And even what being away meant like for you internally. Being away meant. It was a reminder like of high school because I was in high school there. Mm-hmm. So it was a reminder of like why I came back. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like why did I leave? And I think are you being paid for that sponsorship? <laughs> 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 Just showing up so nice. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so um, it was a good reminder of why I left initially. Mm-hmm. I felt like... But you wanted to leave, like, as much as... No, no, no. You, no. You, you, w- you had a promise to keep, but, like, you wanted to leave. I had, no, I didn't want to leave. Okay. I had a promise to keep, yes. Yeah. But I had a scholarship. I was like, I already dropped out. I felt bad for making my dad spend Once, that money. Once, twice, yeah. Yeah, for making my dad spend that money on loans. And you know the funny thing is, Jerry, you're very smart. Thank you. Like, you're a very, very smart person. So it's like, mixed. we can't say school. No. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> she left I love school. <laughs> Oh my god, as crazy as it sounds, I actually like school. But then it's one of those things. Oh, oh, someone said audio is challenging on stream. Okay, um, we're gonna fix that for you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh-huh. my thing is, I don't dislike school. I like being passionate about what I'm doing. Well, so, what if you did? Sc- what if you did? What if you did? Damn, fuck. What if you did? School about music. I what if music you? Business. Yo, like honestly, like low key, you'd be the the perfect Berkeley candidate. 
like it's it's a little too late i feel like but like you america i don't want to go there so you being an american you don't want to be in america that sounds crazy to someone who would want to be in america and can't be there do you get what i'm saying I mean, guys, my thing is... <laughs> <laughs> like, Meshach is listening like, please marry me. We need a passport. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, no Never way. like... <laughs> um, no. Like but you know what I'm saying, right? It's, it's not Meshach yeah, I'm talking yeah, about, yeah. but like the general population would be thinking, sure. this is like the land of milk and honey. Like, it's you could do... It's not the land of milk and honey, guys. I promise. I mm-hmm. promise. I promise. It's not. I feel like with America, there's this outside perspective. Mm. that is just not real to me <laughs> i mean yeah if you have a good job whatever but also remember you're paying equally in taxes like it's, it's, it's balanced <laughs> okay uh i think america is not a conducive environment for someone that's come from a very social environment very wholesome because america is alone it's like you being it's alone so like when you say you're alone in your thoughts nigga, it's, you're not alone in your thoughts you're, you're alone, alone because you come from an environment where you're with your friends and you're with people all the time and then yeah. you're like now you're just on your own it's not it's not it's not, it's not a, like you think it's an america thing exactly. like people be depressed as fuck because they're on their ones exactly. and you're like i'm so depressed people are like you're in america why are you depressed it's like i'm alone so i have no one to share this with I, I go through this whole day i can't even talk to anybody exactly and there's people around you but you're alone so i get you to me it's literally like you're just hi meshak and karuga oh, so <laughs> <laughs> literally just a wheel in like in the works of the economy that's all you are like I don't want to be that. I want to mean something. You know, like, I want to have meaningful relationships. If I want to go for a drink on a Tuesday, shit, let me do it. And I'll find people that I know out there, and we're all having fun. We know we have work in the morning. Like, there's a culture in Kenya. Like, there's there's a lot of fun. There's a lot of love, I think. Even though sometimes we may hate each other, but mm. underlying, there's still that social aspect and that loving aspect, you know. In the States, I remember, there's a day, my friend... um Francine and I went for drinks because we hadn't seen each other in a while. Mm-hmm. So we're ordering shots on a Tuesday. And the wait, okay, the waiter was like, are you guys okay? Like, is everything fine? And I was like, yeah, like, we're so used to this. Like, <laughs> more shots, please. You know, like, more shots, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I think in the States, everything is just very controlled. You can't, I don't know. It's it's not Kenya. So this whole time, you know what the one thing we're waiting for? Mm. Like uh, we, were, I personally, or we, I speak for I, but also I, we, mm-hmm. but um, it was like you setting up some type of studio setup and recording, and we waited and we waited and you teased us, you know, like mm-hmm. proper teasing, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to record soon, uh, you know, and then nigga you know nothing, you nigga know, nothing, you know, you nigga know, nothing. Your expectations of me are not meant to fulfill. Okay, no. <laughs> But you know, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like we were waiting for something, hopefully dying. I mean, now we have sexy. But like, I guess. Yeah, um, how was it not recording for so long? Coming from a time where you could record any time. No, I was recording, mm-hmm. but then it just wasn't. It wasn't cap. It wasn't cap. <laughs> it really wasn't cap. I cannot record myself, guys. I can't. It wasn't cap. It wasn't caffeine. I. I don't know how to record myself, so okay. I was just vibing and. So at least we have them to th- like. At least you're home now. Just, like you're gonna record. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. But one thing I want to do is like I want to put money back into them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I remember like when I got my royalties for drugs, mm-hmm. I made sure I sent Cap something because one thing that a lot of people don't do is pay producers. True, niggas oh. get their stream money and then they're over here balling. Yeah. Balling. We are chuffing the table at the club. Yeah, and your <laughs> producer like be fucking for real. Yeah. Please. So yeah, I I want to do that, and um, yeah, I just want to make like a conducive environment for everybody in the music industry that I work with, and even the ones that I don't. Eventually, I want to start a collective. I think I told you sorry. You did. Yeah. So that's my main goal, and that's actually where I want to stay because as time passes by, like as more time passes by, more time is just like I'm I'm losing time. Mm. Does that make sense? So I don't want to leave and then my ideas just go to waste my creativity it goes down i don't want that to happen so um valerie maloney says hi she says you're sexy shoddy oh hi valerie um so i'm curious um with you kind of officially i guess i guess let's 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 unpack this in a couple ways Mm -hmm. um drugs Mm -hmm. i feel like you were ahead of your time with drugs in the sense of you dropped it and then kind of went away and then somehow in a lucky way people got to consume it <clears throat> like you know like sometimes you drop and then if people don't hear it the first week or the second week they just it goes away but yeah. then like you had this like 
uptick of people coming to f- discover it after. Yeah. And then it's like, who's this person? Who's this person? And it's like, in that time, you weren't even making music. Mm-hmm. But then people are like, drugs, drugs, drugs. And you're like, hi. Yeah. So I guess I'm curious as to like that feeling. Because it's like, it's definitely reassurance. But it's a reassurance in a time you didn't need it. Because like, when you're making the project, we were there. We saw it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it was gone. But like, then it's like, the love you get from this project is so immense. It's crazy. How was that? No, it's still crazy. Like to me, I'm still that average Joe that just. What do you mean? No, like I don't. You're know. a superstar. You're a big deal. My thing is I superstar. I like being okay. Not I like being humble. Like I think my default is just like I'm this regular ass person, and that's what I strive to be. Mm-hmm. In the sense that I'm not trying to put myself above anyone else. Like approach me if you want to. Like talk to me if you want. So to. So you're saying slide in the DM? Huh? Okay, so Jerry says slide in her I DM. Say that. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Hold no, up. don't do that. Yeah, I'm joking. But yeah, continue. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I like that sense of relatability with fans, quote unquote. Mm. To me, like we're all just people. Okay, like, that's me. Like I'm not gonna. I won't let it get to my head. Like I want to go out, get smocha, just enjoy myself. You know. Yeah. Without being bombarded or without feeling some type of way, you know, just cool and bullying. That's, mm. that's that's me. Um, I like to take credit for this, and nobody cares. But like, um, I am the reason that Gokisha is out there. That is true. Um, and that record is heavy, <laughs> Jerry. Like the emotions were heavy. <laughs> 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 that was a traumatizing day. <laughs> yeah. But that's a dope record, and be- you've seen like, bro, people like all the way from Nige Nige were hitting you up. That is true. All the way from like people just love that record, and then it's like you're like. <laughs> Like even Jerry could, by the way. Let me tell you something. She would go to Distro Kid and delete certain songs out of this. Dist- reason I'm not paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop me so like, I'm genuinely serious. Like, for you, like you have these records that are just straight bangers. But like you, like I, I don't know. Can we say you're over them or you like? I guess like because it's like it's a banger and people love it. But then you don't. I'm not over them. I'm over Keisha. Like Keisha. <laughs> Keisha's just doing too much. Excuse my cursing. Sorry if I'm bothered, like bothering anyone with the cursing. I'm gonna stop. So Keisha was just a mess. Hey, yeah. Hey, the, there were a lot of chaotic times that uh, Keisha came out and embarrassed me. Okay. Because Keisha and I are not separate people. It's the same person. Yeah. Because when we're all sober, you'll see my face and be like, "Yo, do you remember <laughs> what you did?" I'm like, mm, "No, thank you." So. But like everybody traumas. Chumming was a bit too much. For real? It was too much. It was too much. So now you're trying to tell us you don't chuma no more? I actually don't. But I feel like it was because I was in a bad place. Like, okay. I feel like... Ooh, was, I love that you could say that, though. Yeah. It was like suppressed emotions just coming out, you know. And I think it would manifest in anger as opposed to, like, crying. I'm not a drug And then you're, like, you're the sweetest person in the world. You're always so like, oh, my God. Yeah. Hi. And then so, like, this, it's very hard to see you angry. Exactly. So Keisha would be, like, this, like, way for you to, like, release this kind of exactly. suppressed... Exactly energy that you were holding in yeah because for me it takes a lot for me to explode so by the time that's happening a lot has happened mm. so keisha she get to that point because now you're okay my guard was down everything so and I'd you've been drinking day, watermelon yeah yeah exactly so like i'd remember nothing the next day but the stories would be there i'm like um that wasn't me <laughs> guys that was not me so that's how go keisha came about so i guess what is I guess it's been a while. Mm-hmm. We haven't heard any recent injury, mm-hmm. correct? Because most of the stuff we're hearing now is stuff from a while ago, right? Yes. Um, what is... Where is... She's there. Where is she, like, mentally first? Okay. And then what does the music sound like? Is Ooh. it all like, oh, my God, I have a man, I love him, oh, my God. Or is it like... There's that like, oh, I guess, where, 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 where are you mentally? How are you doing now? And then, like, what does the music sound like? The music is very loving. It's mm. not it's not sad shit anymore. Um I'm trying to go for okay, I have like a like a pop rock song. Like there's a pop lot rock, of, I like yeah, this. It's okay. very experimental, just having fun. Because for me, I think I don't want to box myself into just R and B. So there's a pop rock, there's I did a full on rock song, mm-hmm. but not screamo. Yeah, just just rock. Um I have one of the lot of strings, guitars and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, what else? What else do I have? 
There's one that's kind of Afrobeat-ish. There's a lot that's happening. Okay. Yeah, but I'm just experimenting right now. But I do want to put out a project, which is very lovey-dovey. It's very nice, very sweet. So I met Tella a couple of months ago. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh my God, and Jerry's my artist. So are you, are you still with Tella and Camille and the whole situation? What's your what's your situation? For distro, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For distro, I use CNC. Mm-hmm. Um, but my manager is... Um, She's McKenna. McKenna. McKenna's my Ooh. McKenna is heavy right now. She's very heavy. McKenna. I think she's managing Jimwat, Kahush, she's and now you. She's to be reckoned with. Okay. McKenna, like, I respect McKenna so much. Okay. She's forced to be reckoned with. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And McKenna means business. You encounter yeah, her with games. Yeah, don't fuck around. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah. And I love that. It's so, so nice. And I feel like she understands me in a way. Like, she's seen me on my worst and my best. <laughs> she, so, I feel like it's, it's very nice. It's a very... I would say healthy relationship, so I respect that. Okay. So I'm very curious about something. Mm. Um, with you choosing to make music now and pursue this, mm-hmm. how do you plan to balance school and music? Because... Because? So, uh-huh. You want to still do school, according to you. That's a you thing. And then you've also chosen to do this as, like, your career. Mm-hmm. So it's like, how do you plan to balance this? And Karuga says, big up to the superstar. Oh, thank you, Karuga. I was actually with him a couple of weeks ago. Amazing. Yeah. Mm, so, balancing school and music. Okay, I plan to take online classes so that I can move around. Perfect. Yeah, that's my main thing. And this time, I'm going to pay for school myself. I told my dad, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're ready for responsibilities. For responsibilities. Like rent, water, tokens. Okay, not that. Bills. Not that. Fuel. Not school fees. <laughs> For myself, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Feel maybe if I have some extra, sure. Uh, but the rest, okay. no, not up until I'm ready. But um, I feel like this time it's going to make me more accountable in the sense that I'm not going to drop out again. You're paying for myself. it. Yeah, yeah, it's your money. That's my money. Yeah. It's going down the drain, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to do that and make sure I actually finish. So, what do you want to study now? Business, just business. Just business, still. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't think USIU has music business. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to transfer my credits Okay. see what happens. Um, Saturday. What's happening Saturday? What is happening Saturday? Jake, tell us. I don't know. You tell me. Guys, so there's an open mic. <laughs> <laughs> Since the, the organizer has refused to talk, um, there's an open mic at 254 Beer District. And Lil Mine and I are the headliners. And there's a, there is a surprise headliner as well. There's no surprise headliner. There's a surprise act then. Okay. Since we're being... <laughs> You're a headliner. What do I you mean? Headliner. Yeah. But there's a surprise person. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the person, though. I'm... I'm Nobody knows. See, yeah, no one knows. I'm excited to see who it is. And I think you guys should come through. I think it's going to be a very, very good show. So, yeah. So, we want to give away two tickets. Yes. So, what do you want to do? Okay, so the three people watching the live right now. Yeah. Only three guys. Yeah. Do you guys well, want tickets? They will give them tickets. Yeah. Since you're here, you know. Just for watching. Yeah, Imagine. Just for watching, honestly. By the way, since you've been posted. Do you, can you see where they are? Yeah, it's Karuga, uh-huh. um, Naya, and Jubilee. Okay, so we give them tickets. Yeah, you guys want tickets? Please comment something if you want a ticket. We ticket is yours. Yeah. Um, you owe me unreleased music. Come on. Um, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So what have you been up to? I see you on the, on the new little minor project. Oh, yeah. How did that happen? I know you guys are on the same flight and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's a time I was talking to you and you're like, Lemina's on my flight. Or yeah. like, so, yeah. Well, I, how did this happen? Um, he actually... Because it's, it's crazy, like, you guys are on the same flight, you're yeah. on the same event, you're doing the same stuff, well, you're both winning. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, he actually just texted me on iMessage. Mm-hmm. Right now? No, 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 oh. no, not now. Um, a while ago, this was when I was in the States. Mm-hmm. Uh, he messaged me, he was like, this is a song I want you on. And I was like, okay, bet. So I did a Kikuyu version. And Wait, <laughs> you can do Kikuyu versions? I went on Yo, Google. So guys. Erosh, Ero- I know this Njeri Kinoti. We're going to talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But wait, Kikuyu Njeri. I tried. At the what? I tried. I cannot speak Kikuyu, guys, for the life of me. I'd rather okay. do some Meru. Like, <laughs> Kikuyu. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky. I went on Google and searched up words. Shout out Nye Boy. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I went on um, Google, searched up Kikuyu words, tried to piece them together. But I don't think it makes sense. <laughs> But it sounds good. <laughs> That's it. We're gonna get it. Like you, you, <laughs> wait, you don't even know what it sounds like. No, I know what it sounds like. Okay. But that I recorded it on my laptop. That's all I have. I don't. Do have you know it. what it? Do you know? 
and uh, you, but you don't know if the kikuyu is right is what you're saying i don't know if it makes sense together like at the say word. it say it to us oh jehovah god Uh, Those are the other words. No. Well, Jehovah guy. Well, Jehovah guy. Well, Jehovah okay, guy. I think you talking to your inner Mokorino, wherever that is. That's not. That's, that's not. <laughs> listen. Uh, I think it said. Ne kwega ito me dwa ko gwedete ne da ko hoya ito tiga mo do my ge. I don't know. It was. Okay. Something very. What is the song about? Uh, company. The miner basically says. Um, He's just there for the company like it's not <laughs> it's not anything Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> is this what Baba's in your mind just company is this is it's this company Yeah so he's like I think the the girl's feeling feeling feelings more okay than the guy and then yeah so he's basically like I'm just here for the company bro like yeah that's what I got from it Damn Yeah Chungu damn like okay mm. but I feel like that's Nairobi especially like the younger age group but you know there's love out here like people I are experiencing that, yeah, love I know, out I know, here i know that yeah and it's good it's very good mm. um curious question mm-hmm. with regard to i feel like one of the biggest strengths you have as in jerry mm-hmm. is and i guess you could help me on this one is either how open you are to collaboration mm-hmm. or the fact that you just good vibes cuz i feel like so nice. a lot of people who get to interact with you mm-hmm. are always going to be like impressed and like in oh like oh my god she's such a cool person she's a good vibe and then there's all then there's a part where like they meet your music and then they like they like the music so i guess like for you mm-hmm. as you traverse in this world like are you trying to like is it Of course like I feel like you're a one person at like interacting with you you do really well with interacting with people like in person mm-hmm. um and you leave like like a memory in them but then you do a really good like can you the, I guess I lost my question somewhere but mm. I'll find it but like I guess the weirdest thing for me is that and I might have told you this before in a different form but like the thing that doesn't make sense about you is that you're a superstar but you pretend to be normal like you're like you you have superstar vibes and aura but like you're normal like you're like Patricia Kihoro but like you're just like That's so chilling wild. like it's like it's like you should like, it's like you don't know wait she doesn't know like she should know like someone tell her but like but like you're so normal mm. but you're so incredible at the same time And then someone's asking Jerry, do you ever want to perform outside Nairobi if the chance occurs? That's in Dagua. Yeah. Sure. Dagua is asking that. Why can I see this question? At uh, the right here on my live. I'm not making it up. No, no, no. Why can't I see them? But yeah, I would love to perform yeah. outside Nairobi. Yeah. Here you go. So. Yeah. But yeah, I'm guessing like how do you balance this whole okay, I'm so talented but I'm so normal at the same time cuz we don't think you're normal, but you think you're normal. <laughs> like I feel as if humility is so important and why would i be stuck up like i wouldn't want to live life like that i want to as i said be accessible i don't want to be above people i feel like that's very stuck up mm-hmm. so yeah I, mean, i just live my life as as i used to you used children, to you know? coco's loco i used to go into coco's loco oh yeah was that the other day for real <laughs> <laughs> good vibes <laughs> but like not not too like <laughs> not too much <laughs> I think I've been to Coco's like five times since I came back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been good vibes. It's been good vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it's, it's interesting. Um, features. Who are you working with? Who can? Are we getting? Are we getting? Are we getting? I know we're getting a nyax. Are, are we getting anything nyax? I haven't spoken to her like since um I came back. Okay. I to, uh, I'll text her. But wh- wh- who you who have you locked in with since you've been back? I locked in with. Oh my god. Kiwango. Ooh. I'm um, looking with Ekumbo. Kiwango was talking crazy on that stepping tape. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, like I said, I, no, I listened to the bars. I listened to the bars. Like the shit he was saying, though. You know who my baby mama? Is? Like he was saying so. Like caps lock. He didn't show up. I had questions. Like I, I wrote them down. Kiwango was talking crazy on that thing. Like the things he said. I have at least seven questions regarding his bars and call him for an interview like <laughs> he's not kenyan imagine but he's so tanzanian he resides in kenya 
Naturalization. But his bars was hard. <laughs> but I have questions. <laughs> I have questions about the shit he says. Like, Listen. he's like, you know, <laughs> he said some reckless shit. But yo, Listen, on that like, stepping tape, it was hard. Like Kiwango was talking crazy. Kiwango talks crazy all the fucking time. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are surprised. Ooh, like on the song that we have, I was like, bro. <laughs> No, but it, it's cool though it's very very cool and very very swaggy i don't know it's like he does it in the smoothest way possible but he's a smooth nigga regardless he's not he's not he's not aggressive if I had he used to story. call himself flower boy like he used to be on instagram like i'm a flower boy i'm just like oh my god that's <laughs> my next album <laughs> that's crazy i didn't even know that what the heck yeah but like i like if i had that swag the world would be my my oyster. I I don't know. Like, You'd have a baby mama like he does. I really would. You would. Yeah, I would. It's necessary. It's very necessary. So who else? Who else? Um. Why am I forgetting people? Oh my gosh! Uh, I really want to collaborate with Sunset. I'll tell you who I want to collaborate. Sunset's with. amazing. Good. So so good. People don't even believe it's Kenyan. Every time I play his music, no one believes it's Kenyan. Someone's yeah. like, that guy's not Kenyan. He sounds like he reminds me of Saint John. He reminds me of Brent. It gives me Brent. Really? Like the voice, not the vibes. No, that's what I'm saying. The voice, really? Like it's it's raspy in a way. It's not... Brent is like... Hi, uh, Suji. Suji. Yeah. Oh, hi, Suji. She joined. Oh, so nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like... Sunset, s- Sunset and Jerry would be crazy dope. That would be so sick. Are you an OnlyFans? Are you an OnlyFans? Are you going to collab? Um, Spicy Ma, she was looking for you. <laughs> collab how? Wait a minute. <laughs> Two girls, oh. one mic. No, 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 not like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I was so shocked by that. I was like, "You listen to my music? What do you mean?" That's incredible. Yo, this came out to the world. Yeah, I was like, Twitter's going crazy. Wait a minute, guys. Wait. Imagine this whole like Twitter world, like of madness. Like people are discovering your dope music. Yeah, I was like, that's so wild. And I feel like I have so much more in my tank. And that was just like the tip of the iceberg. And I. I'm excited to explore what I have left. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, what are we going to get first? An EP or a single? I think a single first. Okay. Yeah. And then an EP. Very loving EP. Like a very... Flower, you, s- like you said it's going to be Flower Boy? Yeah. A Flower Girl. No, Flower Boy. Like you're a girl though. It's not about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about me. It's about a Flower Boy? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's very sweet. Okay, yeah. so is it recorded or are you writing right now? Um, it's not recorded yet. I've written I've written some songs mm-hmm. and then I recorded one. There's a song called Flower Flower Guy, mm-hmm. but the album's called Flower Boy. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. is it done? No, 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 no. Okay, barely. I heard like Matt, I've been seeing like Alec was making pictures. Niggas are shooting secret music videos. Like yo, I'm shooting some secret thing for. I can't talk about this. For who? Some people are shooting videos. You should, did you shoot any videos recently? Any secret music videos? Not a music video. I haven't shot a music video. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm, not a music video. I've shot... I did something with Tice, but then that's a whole other thing. Mm-hmm. Um, other that, I'm, not, I'm not shooting anything. I'm not doing anything. No. Nothing secret? No, I don't have any secret. Are you sure? No, I'm an open book. Hmm? Open book. Huh? Open book. Hmm? <laughs> open book. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah. People are excited about the new music coming through. I guess. Um, so we give out our tickets, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So who do we give them to? Karuga and who? Someone else? Did you did you mark the name? Uh, okay, Karuga is still here, so Karuga gets a ticket. Yay! Yeah. Then now we have two more people. Oh, he's already in my comps. Uh, okay, if you want a ticket, comment. Yeah, just comment. Okay. Um, what can people expect from you in terms of this performance and like the kind of music you're going to be performing? Are you performing old Jerry, new Jerry? What are we getting? Kind of full range, everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Old, 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 and new. So, Dimensions, Drugs, Flower Boy. Nice. Yeah. And Gokisha. <laughs> Gokisha. But Gokisha will be, oh, oh, it's all acoustic, by the way. So, it's okay. like a full acoustic performance. It's not playback, nothing. So yeah, Let's see how it goes. Um, now that you're back, we see a little sip and vibe, mm-hmm. um, and it's great to see because I feel like you guys do you you guys do you and you guys do it different. So it's exciting to see. Yeah, we're back. Um, what's that like? Who's involved, and what's the plan? Uh, 
of right now because uh, Ariana is still in school. Mm-hmm. It's Kyle and I on the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kyle's been doing a lot of like a lot of the like heavy lifting. Because there's like, an event they did when you were away that yeah. I really wanted to go to to see because Juanita. I can't find Juanita anywhere. If you can find Juanita, I'm looking for her. <laughs> I'll ask for her. Everybody, uh, Genesis knows her, but. Yeah. Juanita is hard to find, allegedly. Like she's not forever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Listen, but um, I love her music. But like, I guess she's good. Um, good. you get w- what's the plans for Sip and Vibe now that you guys are back up and running? And I love that you guys are also collabing with like other people. Can I take because the one thing you guys do very well mm-hmm. in your specialty is the fact that you guys are able to. You guys understand that business aspect of like the event side. Mm-hmm. So a lot of artists would might struggle with like, how do I do this? How do I do that? And you guys understand it. And you guys are able to have a mutual collaboration that's beneficial for both. So it's like, you guys, we need you guys. Yeah. So basically what Sip and Vibe is, like we're kind of the channel. Because a lot of the time we really welcome don't make Welcome to my money. channel. Yeah, welcome to my channel. And in a lot of times in business, you don't make a lot, you don't make any money in the beginning. We're really not making anything. Yeah. So for us, it's like kind of based off the love of the art and also just giving people a chance to perform and something to put on your CV. Like if you want a portfolio, like you did a Sip and Vibe show, you know, like then I guess the proceeds all go to the artist. And then if the artist brings on other artists, they sort the cost with them. So we're just a channel that organizes the event itself. Um, What else do we do? I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the direction that we want to go... Um, that's yet to be discussed, but for me, I'm willing to give 110% and take it above and beyond because I feel like it has so much potential and I feel like we're a very wholesome organization. It's not anything that's going to exploit anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's a time (laughs) we had trouble with people, um, reversing money (laughs) at the gate. (laughs) That's so crazy to me. Tell us. Like, they would um, basically pay for the ticket mm-hmm. and then reverse the money after once they're in. Uh. Guys, that's so sleazy. Like, please don't be like that. That's crazy. So, yeah, so... So, would you have to, like, would Safari come call you and ask you to confirm or what would you do? It wasn't me. So, it wasn't... This, this happened when I was away. Okay. So, um, I didn't even get the full details, but I was like, that's so crazy because now that interferes with the relationship between us and the artist because mm-hmm. it's like we're stealing like, from... Exactly. Like that. But that's not the case because why would we? What's the point? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was just like, that's wild, bro. That's so so wild. So in the time that you've been away, I'm very curious. Any mm-hmm. Kenyan artists that you've discovered or like fallen in love with? Like, because I feel like being away from home also kind of makes you love things from home a bit more. But like, I guess who have you discovered that you can put us on? Like, you're like, wow, this is like what you guys need to put us on to some new. Like, what do we need to be listening to according to you? Bro, that is so tough. What do you mean? I, I know I know you have some gems over there. I do, but they're not they're like they're not at the top of my head. That's so why I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> um Sunset for me took the like he he took the cake. Okay. Yeah, Sunset is the one that I would say he is going so far. Um who else? I don't know who else. I'll have to check my Spotify. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to check my Spotify. Zoe? Oh my god, Zoe. How could I Zoe's like who doesn't know Zoe and why don't you know Zoe? Like that's crazy. Some people don't know Zoe. Why don't you know Zoe? That's wild. Anyway, Zoe is amazing. Mm-hmm. Her voice is so it's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I love her music. I do. Um I saw you fuck with um Mvua. Yes. Yeah. Do, do you know who Mvua is though? Now I do. It's it's like a combo of like man child mm-hmm. and Mankind. Mm. You know Mankind? I don't actually know. So Mankind... Oh, okay, no, I, I can't <laughs> teach you, like, history. No, you teach me, no. teach me um, no. Mankind have, like, two amazing artists who have this super amazing R&B voices, but then they were in a group. Okay. They were signed to Pine Creek Records, but then they're no longer signed to Pine, Re- Pine Creek Records, but they have an album, it's out, it's called Let Her Be. Okay. Um, it has songs like Heaven, Pretend, it has amazing records, but, like, they sound like Liquid Deep. Mm-hmm. The like the project came out in 2019, oh. but they sound like Liquid Deep. Oh. But um, they pa- uh, guess got together with the guy who made Debe, which is the sound that Chris Kiger mm-hmm. uses. Mm-hmm. Um, Mudoni Drama Queen's also been sampling with Debe a lot. Mm-hmm. But Manchild makes music for Blinky Bill, Mudoni Drama Queen, Chris Kiger. So now I guess he got together with the guys from Manchild who make R&B music and made, I guess, 
mvua mm-hmm. and i feel like it was really interesting because like we're in a very kenyan music has like drill waves and then we have like i feel like drill wave is out now mm-hmm. now we're like in a bit of ama piano wave and then we don't know what's next what do you think share with us we were talking okay this is a side note we we're talking about this the other day about the genge category in, mm-hmm. in the grammys yeah so but you know it's not it's not its own category it's part of like the african music category like yeah. genge artist music can be considered for that grammy so is it just genge tone or is it kenyan music in general okay so you know what the problem is yeah. the real problem is mm-hmm. that we don't want as kenyans we don't like to be put in a box so we don't want to like come together and say our music you know how tanzanians are like okay call us all bongo, bongo. yeah Kenyans don't want to be Karun does not want to be called Genge. world or she doesn't want to be called Gengeton. Yeah. She wants to be called whatever Genge. she wants to be called you know and Genge. same for Mr. Lu he doesn't want to be called whatever yeah. and so and it's I respect it but the problem becomes mm-hmm. then how do they recognize us or appreciate us cuz you see like at least like with Gengeton we were all making the same type of sound. Yeah. Dancehall and fused a bit of like Spanish type music but like now it's like Okay, the Grammys the Banner Boys competing with Angela Kijo. Mm-hmm. And Angela Kijo doesn't make the same music as okay. Banner Boy. Yeah. And that was the issue like Banner Boys so that's the category we're in. It's a very small category. So now they've just added now that guys like people who make genge music yeah. can be part of can win a Grammy. But like good luck winning a Grammy when Kenyans won't even support you. But like <laughs> I, yeah, I feel like the whole thing is so discriminatory. Explain. In the sense that the western world mm. gets um all their categories recognized. Exactly. Jazz, yeah. Christian, like anything you want. Yeah, they're to be diverse. Mm-hmm. That's just black and african like <laughs> <laughs> like please be so for real. It's not okay. Cuz like when you submit your music distribution, what category? R&B. So it's R&B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cuz my question is But do you even like remember BET? Like today I was watching the BET performance for Davido today and I realized back in the day BET when you were African, you'd have to perform like outside before the event. Mm-hmm. Then they'll air you like later exactly. on. So it's like when you get the point where our music for me a new thing I've been really big about is I want Kenyan music to be globally accepted and recognized. So one I want them to recognize, yo, mm-hmm. that's Kenyan, that's Kenyan and then I want us to I want them to award us. Like this is an award for Arrow boy, he has a good song called Ndoma, whatever the fuck it's called. But like the point is like we need a recognition and we need, we need like awareness, but like w- how do we get there? I want to say I feel like to get there we have to create our own forum. I don't think the Grammys are going to care about us. No one else. But they don't. They don't. They don't care. I feel like if we create our own like exclusive African awards, then And I'm not talking about like Afrima because I feel I feel like Afrima is like only Exactly. I feel like it should be something more uh, more diverse and more ex- not accepting because I feel like accepting is kind of like diminishing what all the artists have done. Um let's make our own so like our own Grammys mm-hmm. something cuz if there's no space at the, at the table for you, you create your, like your own table so That is true how i view it because i mean at the end of the day we see guys like kanye west mm-hmm. like pissing in their grammys yeah. so it's like at the end of the day you'll get the grammy but then what yeah like okay you have a grammy but then does it then, you know yeah so i feel like we're the only people that can recognize what we do so which is sad but so i'll ask you um as we start to wind up right now mm-hmm. with the way you're at with things mm-hmm. um your future do you see it just being music or do you see avenues where it's music and other things and what what do these other things you're seeing or considering definitely music and other things mm-hmm. um i feel like i've always been a type of person to have my hand like to be a jack you mean you have adhd no i feel like um i've always been one to have my my hands in like multiple things not necessarily at the same time but like i like doing multiple things and that I'm passionate about. So mm-hmm. I want to own a restaurant. Nice. Um I already have the name um Mimi's. Mm-hmm. Naming it after the first house help I ever had that I remember <laughs> and she passed away due to kidney failure which okay. was so sad. And for that I want to do it in a way where all well, s- like a percentage of the proceeds go to children of orphan parents. Mm-hmm. Does she have kids? Yeah, she had a child. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She's married right now, so mm-hmm. That's one thing that I want to do. Um I don't know if I want to make it a chain yet, but 
Yeah. Then, on to start the collective, uh, my dream is to own a building mm-hmm. where each and every floor mm-hmm. is a different sort of art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and just to be able to create a space where artists are not exploited and where, like, a full-on, like, collective where th- their lawyers, accountants, where everything is catered for. And, yeah, just make it wholesome. At the same time, make money somehow. Mm-hmm. That I haven't figured out yet. But just make it a conducive environment for artists. Two serious questions before I let you leave here. Yeah. How are you going to pay the school fees? Do you even know how much it costs? Yes, I do. You're sure? I can tell I you the numbers. Research. Okay, so how are you going to pay the school fees in this economy of Rutos, okay, with this Fuliza economy that we are living in? I do corporate gigs. So. What, what does that mean? I can perform for corporate like you dance for for people at night? Uh, not that. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Like I, I, I sing. I okay. perform for um, the one that I do every month is Untapped Global. Okay. Um, hopefully more to come. Okay. And yeah, so from that, from gigs, we'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm trusting the universe right now. Um, the other thing I was going to ask you that's very important to, for us to figure out mm-hmm. is the balancing of school and music. How are you going to do this? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm not going to bite off more than I can chew. Mm-hmm. Um, I know how much I can handle. I'll try my best to balance it out. As I said, online, making it portable. Um, yeah, and if push comes to shove, I'll focus on what matters more. Okay, there's lots of producers on here who want to work with you. I Thank guess, you. are there producers you want to work with? How do, can they reach out to you? Um, who do you want to work with, I guess? If, give us producers you want to work with, and then how can people reach out to you if they want to work with you, if they're producers? Because I see a lot of them over here. I haven't actually looked into that. I'm so sorry. Like, that's very ignorant on my bit. But um, I need to. Mm-hmm. And I'm honestly open to working with anyone that has good beats. Like, I'm, I'm very open to collaborating. And to reach me, just email Jeannie me. Jeannie says she loves your music. Genie. Oh, thank the you. The drinks underscore Genie. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you for streaming and listening. I appreciate you. Yeah. Um, I feel as if. Um, what was the question? Okay. Black and white. Um, um, no, 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 no. <laughs> producers, you want to work with? Producers. And how can people send you beats? Yeah. Send me beats on my email at um, jerry178 at gmail.com. Um, and producers I want to work with, I can't even lie. I, I'm a little ignorant on the producers that producer side mm-hmm. um i need to look into that uh more so i don't have an answer right now okay yeah um what's Jerry doing in her free time in my free time when you're not creating content making music doing all this busy stuff what do you do i'm chilling man chilling what does that mean <laughs> literally just relaxing. are you watching tv shows yeah. are you like going on to i don't know vasha what are you doing okay not going to vasha no 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 um sometimes i watch tv shows if i find an interesting one mm-hmm um, cause I like Anything interesting you're watching right now? Uh, right now. Okay, so there's this Kenyan show I've been watching. Tell us. Called Kina. Kina. Okay, I've heard about the show Max. Yes, on yes. show Max. Um, yeah, I started watching it before I left last year. Okay. So I just continued. How's that going? It's interesting. It's uh-huh. interesting. I think it's one of the best written shows ever, and the actors are doing like okay. really well. Like they play their parts well. Someone like says you're wi- she's a wise one. Oh. We know, isn't oh, she? Isn't you. she so wise? Thank you so much. Um, check out Nastoto though. Hmm? Nastoto. It's on Nas YouTube. Toto. It's lit. Is this the one with Butita? Yes. <laughs> My cousin told me about that. It is so good. <laughs> it is so good in Jerry. Like yeah, it's actually sorry. like such a vibe. Like it's about this hospital uh-huh. and there's a receptionist uh-huh. and it, nothing gets done, but they try. <laughs> you know, like how we're all trying. Yeah. They're trying to. Okay. It's called Nastoto. Okay. I'm going to try it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll try that. Then yeah. I saw this other random one. It was being advertised on TV. I think when my mom was watching news about this guy who's just messy. Like, he's just creating chaos in his neighborhood. What's his name? I can't even remember. Okay. But then, it's like this couple just announced they're having a baby. And then this guy's like, are you sure it's even yours? Like, just inciting nonsense. Okay. So I would like to watch that because it seems chaotic. Yeah. So we can officially say you're back? I can say so. I haven't told my mom yet. When are you going to tell her? I will see. <laughs> what I what are you afraid of? Huh? huh? I'm afraid of my mother. What do you mean? What do you mean? Gladys is lovely, but I'm scared. You're a bad bitch over here. What do you mean? I don't like being yelled at. I'm, I'm just yelling. 
I'm sensitive. It's just yelling. I'm sensitive, man. But she can't tell you no. No, she can't tell me no. <laughs> yeah, so what's going to happen? I mean, she can't tell me no, but then... Okay, actually, no, she can't tell me no, but like, damn. I mean, you already have it figured out. I do have it figured out, but then it's like, how do you even break the news? Hi, mom, I dropped out again. I haven't <laughs> dropped out. That's the problem. <laughs> I have not dropped out again. Oh my god, I'm not dropping out again. Uh-huh. One, one was my cap. One was my cap. Yeah, no, I'm not dropping out again. You're still working with cap. You're still capping. Yeah, no kizzy. Hell, yeah. yeah. So, tell me good the merch. The, that black cap looks fire. Have you bought one? No, but I want one. Then buy one. It's fourteen fifty. Have you seen then this economy? It's so exp- bu- it's so nice though. Yeah, it, yeah. It's so nice. Yeah, I don't have one either. I need the agenda one. stepping. Mm-hmm. Sick. Worldwide. Very, very cool, cool concept. Okay. The hell? Okay. Anyway, but yeah, yeah. You should buy one. Okay. Should buy a hat. I'll okay. save. Mm-hmm. Um, anything you want to shout out? Canyon pick? Anything that's happening? Oh, yeah, what do you want gosh. people to know? Why are you not there today? What's going on? So Let us know. Okay, I'm not there because I'm here. So okay. My friend Tessie does Canyon pick. I was in law school with Tessie. Um. Before she dropped out. Huh? Yeah. Before I dropped out, guys. I dropped out. I saved my chest. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. Tessie does Canyon pick. It's an amazing, amazing show. I. I was honored to be the first person on it. And um, we had so much fun. We did Kenyan karaoke, Kenya 50-50. Tessie, if you're listening, you know I won that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. It's a very interesting thing. It's free. Just all you have to do is RSVP. And it's every Tuesday. So, every Tuesday. Yeah. So, yeah. You should try it. Hi, right, guys. So, if you want to see Jerry, she'll be performing live at Open Mic 254, happening at the Beer District in Westlands um, on Saturday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And she'll be coming on stage at what, 10 p.m.? 11. 11 p.m. Yeah. Nice. Like, so, where can people get the tickets at? Oh, you can get the tickets um, in my bio. The link is in my bio. Or you could just go directly. Wait, your bio or our bio? Your bio and mine. And Whoa! You can have two links. Bio! Yeah. Okay. So, you can get it in my bio and my Instagram. You can get it. She can get it. Everyone can get it. In the bio. <laughs> 254.radio. You get a ticket. You get a ticket. Everybody gets a ticket. <laughs> no, Karuga gets a ticket. <laughs> Karuga gets a ticket. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Just check. Um, the Radio 254 website and it should be there. Get your tickets. Are they a thousand bob still? Imagine. Yeah, they're a thousand shillings and they are redeemable, uh, redeemable for a beer. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is Keisha gonna be there? No. Are we gonna get Are we gonna get more Keisha like songs? Trap. Keisha like songs. 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 Trap. So we are gonna get more trap. If I'm feeling the vibe, then sure. What about you and your boyfriend LBZ? Are we getting more LBZ and Jerry music? My whole wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, all business. Yikes, that's crazy. Um. No. Well, actually, no, no, no. There's an unreleased one. I don't know, actually. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, if the music comes about, then sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we work together really well. We make good music together. Your well. voices mesh really well together. Yeah, we're both Sagittarians. It's very cool. For real? Yeah. That's a thing? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's very, very cool. Vibes. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> say goodnight to the world. Um, night and world. inspire them a little bit before you say goodnight. You can't just tuck them in like, go to bed. Oh, Say okay. something sweet. If you want to drop out, drop out, guys. I mean, Facts. Listen. Big facts. If school's not for you, then do your thing. But please make sure you have an actual plan before you do that. Um, yeah, and honestly, follow your heart. Um, trust the universe. And yeah, I feel like I'm real. I'm, I'm giving bad advice right now, but yeah, just just make sure you're staying to yourself. That's that's my advice. Alright, yeah. guys. Okay. Love, 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 love. Yeah. Please get your tickets from Two Five Four Dot Radio. Um, open mic. 254 is happening this Saturday, so please show up. Yeah, come, um, come see these amazing guys performing. It's going to be lit, lit, lit. Um, Jerry, uh-huh. we need new music. Huh? We need new music. Okay. When are you giving us a new song? Uh, When one is done. So there's nothing? When one is done. Nothing? All I have is demos, man. I feel like we should blame someone. Should we blame Cap or do we no blame you? Being blamed. No one's being blamed. Who's being blamed? No one. We don't have to blame anyone. We so how long? Do we call like... Camille, do we call? What are you calling Camille for? I don't know. Who do we like? How do we get new music? I'm calling anyone. Nine one one, bro. <laughs> fire. No. We need the fire. We need the fire. Like we know when you need them to take out the fire, you call them. But what if you need the fire? Like we need the fire. Oh, you call an arsonist. That's that's what you do. You see why you're educated? Oh. Why do you even need school? Just drop out for real. Thank you. Yeah. Great motivation. Your Hopefully mother your mother doesn't ever you. hear this. <laughs> She's shit. gonna come find you. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but for real, um, give us new music when. Uh, I cannot give you an exact date, but soon. What do you need? What do I need? Yeah. What do I need? I you know, know what would be interesting, mm. and everybody wants mm. Jerry and Mao. That would be cool. Where is Mao? I don't know where Mao is. America, where well, you left? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's Mal come back, so she <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's having a good summer. When he comes back, then sure. I'm down okay. if he's down, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for coming through and stopping by. Thank you for having me. Um, please um, take care of yourself until Saturday. I will try my best. We need you. It's <laughs> a joke. I'll, do, I'll, I'll take care of myself. I guess. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please stay tuned for Midnight Rendezvous.